we, we make all of these difficult decisions, uh, and I accept they have to be made, and I commend all deputies for making them, but I wish to make the point that we make them without necessary information. And we can't change the information which we now have, but we can make sure that we're not in this position again. For during the period of the lockdown, the National Self-Harm Registry stopped collecting and collating data. Now, they started collecting and collating the data again fully at the end of August. They had started before that. And they're collecting the data going forward to now, but also backwards. The reason they stopped is because they weren't the staff of the National Self-Harm Registry weren't determined to be essential workers. And I wish to ensure that that doesn't happen going forward. Because as we talk about mental health uh, and we talk about rolling over what our emergency type legislation, we need to make those decisions with as much information as possible. And above all, I think we need information on presentations with self-harm at hospitals. I don't know whether they were up or they were down. I think actually nobody knows. Everybody, people in emergency departments know anecdotally from their own department, but that's obviously going to vary right across the country. The same is true, the CSO collect data on suicides. Likewise, they weren't classified as essential workers for the duration. But even more fundamentally, the CSO will give out the first information that they have on suicides uh, in the first half, uh, suicides in 2020, in the first half of next year. Now, I accept it's difficult, but we did give extra powers to coroners, at least there were provisions regarding coroners in the, in the Emergency Act in, in March. So what I'm urging the minister to do is get as much information as possible on suicides and self-harm to make sure that we have that information. Because if we don't have the information, how can we possibly take account of it in our decision making, as decision makers? And I'd say the same is true of, maybe the department has data that nobody else has. And if they have, I'd ask the minister to reply. I appreciate, I'm not trying to put the minister in a difficult position. I greatly appreciate you allowing me time to speak, minister. But if there is information that we don't have in the public domain, then I'd like to know that. I'd like to at least know that the data on suicides and the data on self-harm during the last lockdown is being considered as we make these difficult decisions. Lastly, and this information, of course, relates, or this, bill, or this provision specifically relates to mental health commissions. Do we have any study of the impact of having them remotely is having on the people who are the subject of these decisions because they are being detained involuntarily? I can't imagine anything worse than being strapped down and administered medicines against my will. But I do accept doctors say that that is necessary to protect the individuals who are being administered the medicine and sometimes others around them. But not to be able to challenge that in person, to have it done remotely, and then to be told by the person who is advocating your detention that the commission have agreed. You know, you're not being told by the decision makers, inevitably, because they're remote from you. You're being told by the person who has told you, I know you don't want to be detained, but I'm saying it's in your good. And then for that person to be going back to them saying, actually, they agree with me. I, I'm just saying it's unfortunate, and we need more information on the impact that that is having. Now, you don't have that today, Minister. This isn't by way of criticism of you. It's certainly not by way of criticism of the staff of the CSO or the National Self-Harm Registry, because they were obeying the law. But we need to make sure that we learn from what went on before and that we're in a position to make these decisions with much more information if we have to make them again.